Hey, hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Scientist Room, where today we're going to, well, watch uh, probably my last video uh, for alchemy, because Camel Audio the other day ceased trading. Uh, this is the 11th of January 2015, Sunday. I think maybe Thursday, Camel Audio announced that they were uh, not trading anymore and that you couldn't purchase their products. Their IAPs were no longer available on iOS and their, their, their desktop software was no longer available. <clears throat> this is like a, this is a really weird way to do this because um, how would you feel if the, you'd purchased uh, some Camel Audio products uh, on Wednesday or, or any time within the last few weeks or, or, or whenever uh, because they're telling us now that uh, uh, support will only exist now until uh, June of this year, June and July of this year and then that's it. Nothing else. So what does that mean? Does that mean they've sold the company? Well, if they've sold the company, that's a bit pants as well, the way to do it, because why not just tell people, you know, we're, we're selling a company to, to X company and, uh, you know, we, we've got a big wad of cash and, uh, you know, see you later. Well, we're going to stick it in the bank and sit on the beach in 20%. Um, I don't know. And there's loads of speculation on all different forums and stuff. The audio bus forum's really good. Um, loads of people are saying, yeah, it's got to be a buyout. No company's going to do this. It, who have they sold it to? You know, why is it a big secret? And if it is, you know, if it is, I mean, people are having problems as well now, even now. They can't get hold of the IAP state pages for the desktop version, you know. And, and even if, right, even if you could get all your IAPs, which is the moment you can't, but apparently someone's had an email back saying that, yeah, Camel Audio are aware of this and they're fixing the problem so you can get your IAPs and all the rest of it. Or, of course, you can go and claim a refund from Apple. It's all a pain in the fucking arse doing that, isn't it? Really? You know? And you, you, you certainly don't want to be left thinking, and this is how it feels if you're watching this Camel Audio, which I doubt you are. But this is how it feels, right? For whatever reasons you did this, and, I, and like I said, I don't know. I don't know. Loads of companies close for loads of different reasons. But you can't just wake up one morning and go, oh, well, hang on a minute, I'm going to pack it in today. And this is what I'm going to say. Thanks for all the support, guys. But, uh, you know, eh, there you go. But no real explanation why, you know. Explain why, you know. People are understanding. If it's a problem or something, you know, people know. But you can't just pull your product... You know, I could name you a hundred apps, about a, probably more, probably a, a hundreds of apps that are no longer supported on iOS. Pretty well, won't work on iOS 8, won't work on nothing. But you can still download it if you've already bought it. It's still there on the App Store. Hello? I can't. Search for, try and search for Alchemy. Go ahead. Nothing comes up. Nothing. Right. I was really, really lucky here because... I just got the new iPad and I it was 64 gigs, so I installed everything, all the old stuff back. Camel wasn't on my iPad 4. Uh, Alchemy wasn't on there. I took it off to save space. You put it back on when you need it. You take it off when you don't. You know, it's simple. But I put everything on, all the IAPs and everything. I'll tell you what they did as well, right? And this really fucked me off, right? But, you know, I, I took it on the chin. I'd already bought all their IAPs, right? All the sound packs. And you know that I support Camel. I love that synth. I love it. Every time a new sound pack come out, I really looked forward to it. And I usually demoed them as well. I did at least two. And I've done at least three uh, videos featuring Alchemy. So I love the synth. It's, it sounds brilliant. One of the best synths. Works, works perfect. They're pretty much one of the most flawless iOS synths that there is. But, uh, so anyway, I'd bought all, I'd previously bought all these IAPs, right? So I thought, I know, to save time, I'll just download the bundle, you know, purchase bundle, 34 99 They charged me for that as well. I paid twice. Hey, I paid twice for these. But, you know, I thought, oh, well, you know, it's, I can't be arsed going through all the shit of trying to get me money back from Apple or trying to contact Camel Audio. Anyway. That, so that annoyed me, <laughs> and then and then them closing them closing annoyed me. So like a week and a half ago, they took thirty four quid off me, and now they've stopped trading, right? Stopped trading, 
And, and I can't su get any support past the, 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 the middle of the year, June 2015, right? So, but that's all right. So say, for instance, you've got all your IAPs back, right? This is brilliant, right? Well, what happens iOS 9, iOS 10, iOS 11? You've had it. It's a total waste. Total waste of money. Ask yourselves this, right? And if Camel Audio had said to you two or three weeks ago, and I don't believe for one second that this was a snap decision. You don't just wake up one morning, close a company that big. You don't. Not without knowing either A, you've sold it and you're taking the money and, and, and that's fine. You know, okay. I'm not, any, anybody who, who can get a lot of money for their business, good luck to you because that's the crack. That's a good thing, you know. God, if someone offered me money for the sound test room, you know, I'd have to say, you know, no way, because I'm true to myself. No, to be fair, I probably would sell it. You'd have to, wouldn't you, because money's money. But I'd want to make sure that the people that, like, if there was anything invested in it, like money, that, that, that the people who had invested the money still got their fair fair crack at a whip, you know, was still still supported. I don't think, I just think it's unfair. But the most unfairest thing is, I think, is the way it was done. That's all. And I think a lot of people feel this way as well. A lot of people are upset, you know. And also you get people saying, well, you know, it's only a synth. Well, this is true. It's only a synth. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. But in the grand scheme of things, then no music matters, does it? You know, art or anything like that. It doesn't matter. But it matters to the people who are involved in it. It matters to me. It matters to me that by iOS 9 or 10, I ain't using Alchemy anymore because it won't work. Because it has to be updated, you know. And look, it's I tell you something as well. As well, I'd be pre I, a few few months ago, right? I bought Reason Seven, and I bought it just within the timeline of getting Reason Eight for you know free as an upgrade as well, right? I almost almost bought Alchemy instead of Reason. So you know how close was that? So I'd have spent all that money, and it was that's a lot of money. You, you know, you, that's hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. Um, at that point, I'd be, I'd be, what am I going to do? You know, how does that work? Now I hope uh, Camel Audio are okay. I don't, you know, wish them any ill will. I would just like me and many, many other people. I would think would just like a, a, a half decent explanation of what's going on. Also, as well, if it's been sold, um, you know, what are the other company going to do? You know, is that going to be a, a, a general sort of, well, I'm sorry, but, you know, this is a new company now. If you want to, you've got to pay again or you've got to do this or you've got to do that. I don't know. Anyway, just, I, don't, I wish these guys all the best. I just think they should have done it better. And I think support should be ongoing you should be able to the product that you purchased you know recently or from a few days ago you know should be available for, for whenever you know that's 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 where it should be it's not fair if it's if it's otherwise it's it's unkind and just wrong there's not a good way to do business and a lot of people supported uh camel audio uh, i mean pretty much anybody who was into iOS music for sure uh, had had alchemy and I'm, I'm probably most of the IAPs too anyway so this track we're going to listen to now I'm going to play this video thing this was originally it was put out a couple of weeks ago as part of the uh, iOS music community thing uh, it's called waiting rooms it's just a little two and a half minute two or three minute alchemy performance with alchemy um, it's it sounds the sound is great. It's just a piano thing. It's just an improvised thing. That's all. But, you know, it's it's apt because it was alchemy. So I thought I'd stick it on now and that'll be the end of it because I can't really do any more videos for alchemy out, um, now realistically because you can't get it anymore. And what would be the point realistically? I was going to do one of those epic guides to alchemy. You know, where we do the recording and everything, but what's the point now? You know, this the app is finished, it's gone. Um, I hope that they sort out the IAP problem. I know a lot of people on the audio bus forum can't read. In some fact, some people have just like totally blitzed it completely off and thought, oh, "Fuck it," you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother anymore. I hope that someone has bought it or or something. Uh, but even if they have, 
it's still done it the wrong way why not tell people you know why not get people excited about something apart from it? and even if Cameron come out on Tuesday and say well sorry guys but this is the way you should have done it on Thursday when you did it you know because people have now spent a few days being really racked off annoyed pissed off for good reason is the fact that they probably spent a lot of money on your software and now can't get it's done with basically I don't know anyway uh, <laughs> a rant over a eh? rant over finish now finish the calm again see happy um, I'll see you guys uh, real soon anyway and uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you later I hope you enjoy the little the little thing that follows all right chaps and mm -hmm.